Hello, greetings 21st century families. It's Mr. James, I'm from the Geiger 21st century program and today I wanna to show you something that I love doing in my music classes and it's teaching people how to play spoons. So I've got two spoons here, perfect for cereal or oatmeal or whatever. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to play these. Now these are metal spoons. In my classroom we use plastic spoons and I end up giving all the students them to take home. You can probably find two spoons somewhere at your home. So find two spoons and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now there are other videos too to show you and I'll mention those at the end and you can see some people who really master the technique of playing spoons. And yes, it is a real instrument and it's great because you can use it for eating food afterwards. So first thing, you're going to start with one spoon and take your hand like this. So thumbs up, put the first spoon right here where my thumb is and I'm going to hold it like this. So it's going to be held almost like I'm eating something. The other spoon is not going to be like this but turn the other way around. I'm going to open up my fingers. I'm going to put it underneath just like this. So the only finger in between here is my pointer finger. And the spoons are on top of each other. And that's really slippery. They can slide. But what you're going to do is you're going to be able to hit this on your knee. And when you do, it makes that sound. Now, all I have to do is hold like this and hit my knee. So I'm gonna move my body up so you can see my knee and I'm gonna show you a couple things you can do with this. So here's my spoon, right? Still, that's all I'm doing is holding it like that. It might move a little bit, so you have to move it back on. It's always a little bit of adjusting to get it to work perfectly and Anytime you play an instrument, it's like that. So I can play. I can hit over here. If I hit near my knee, the bone right there, maybe it makes a louder sound. A little softer over here. But if I want to make a really loud and maybe faster, I take my hand and I can put it on top. So when it goes down, it hits, and when it goes up, it hits. So the spoon going down, hits, makes a sound. And when it goes up, this bottom spoon hits. And then we're back and forth. Of course, occasionally it will slide out, but you get used to it after a while. So this can be very fun, especially if you want to play to music. You can make up your own little rhythms with this. It's fun to play to music. Uh, it's also fun to use them afterwards to eat food, of course. But try doing this with a family member and see if uh, you can play something and then they can match and play the same exact thing and you can have like a duet where you both play together. Uh, this is really fun and it makes an interesting sound and please look up some other videos on how to play this there's a person online called the spoon lady and she can show you a lot of different things and there's definitely a lot of this spoon playing in music uh, folk music and such from ireland from appalachia lots of fun with this and good luck trying this make some fun sounds Try some oatmeal, maybe. <laughs> Bye.